Hola, my name is Gloria Arjona and I am the author of The Story of Selena Quintanilla, a biography of the Queen of Tejano music. For those of you who are not familiar with the music of Selena, let's listen La Carcacha, the young car. And it's a funny story about a car that can barely run. Tejano music used to be a style song mainly by men. Selena was one of the first women, and the youngest one, to succeed in Tejano music. And she did something else. She took the traditional mariachi outfit used by men and created her own Tejano style. Selena had a passion for designing clothes. Her mom taught her how to sew and later in life, Selena created her own customs. Selena's life was short, but she accomplished many things. She is an inspiration for many of us people of Mexican ancestry and for other Latinos and non-Latinos around the world. It was important for me to write a book about her. The story of Selena Quintanilla has beautiful pictures illustrated by Colombian artist Juanita Londoño. It has maps of important places in the life of Selena, like Lake Jackson, Texas, where she was born. The book includes Selena's quotes. That means her own words on how she felt about family, education, music, like this one. I didn't have the opportunity to learn Spanish when I was a girl, but it's never too late to get in touch with your roots. I'll read the first chapter. Chapter 1. A Star is Born. When Abraham and Marcela Quintanilla went to the hospital to have their third child, they thought he would be a boy named Mark Anthony. They didn't have a name ready when a girl was born. Marcela's hospital roommate suggested the name Selena. Mr. Quintanilla repeated, Selena? No, Selena, the roommate insisted, waking up the baby. Little Selena cried loudly. Everybody was surprised that a five-pound baby could make so much noise. A star was born. By age eight, Selena, who had taken no music lessons, was already known as the girl with the big boys. She became the queen of Tejano music, a Spanish language music style from Texas and northern Mexico. Before Selena's success, Tejano singers were mostly men. At age 15, she became the youngest female singer to win a Tejano Music Award. She became a role model for Mexican-American children and other young people of color. Selena grew up in an underprivileged family and her success proved what she always said. The impossible is always possible. Selena made sacrifices to be a famous musician. She rehearsed her songs and dance moves for hours. She barely ever went out to play. She even had to stop attending school and finished her education by mail. When she became famous, she often visited schools to encourage kids to study and to remind them that school is a privilege. Selena changed the Tejano music world 
by including women and by adding cumbia and disco to her singing and lots of glitter to her clothes. Jump in the think tank. Selena is a role model for women and people of color. Why is it important to have role models? Selena's world. Selena Quintanilla was born on April 16, 1971, in Lake Jackson, Texas. Her mom, Marcela, and her dad, Abraham, also called Abe, were Mexican-American, Americans with a Mexican background. Selena's mom loved to cook Tex-Mex food, like quesadillas with cheddar cheese. Selena loved nachos with melted yellow cheese, but her favorite food was pizza. Selena heard Spanish spoken at home, especially when family members were expressing their feelings. Selena's mom called Selena Mijita, or my dear daughter. But English was the language the family used most. As a child, Selena's dad had been punished in school for speaking Spanish. He did not want that treatment for his children. Selena could not speak Spanish well, but she could sing in Spanish. It was until later when she became famous and started traveling to Mexico often that she decided to study Spanish. At first, she was frustrated because she understood more than she could say and she tended to mix both languages. She had difficulty rolling her R's, an important sound in the Spanish language. But Selena was a determined and very proud Mexican-American. After much work, she became 100% bilingual. <music>